Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel, and today we're going to be having our championship battle against the one, the only, the legendary Stone Family 64, aka the head coach of the Atlanta Breviary, who we fought back in week 5, and we lost to. Uh, so, we lost to the timer, we're hoping to do a little bit better this, uh, this battle here, um, and this is it, this is it, this is it, this is the one battle that determines who gets to go home and who gets to be the champion of the Elite Battle League. We're hoping that it's us, but if we happen to uh, lose the battle, that's okay too. We had a good run. I can't say that I played badly. Um, I think that I did pretty well, um, you know, so, and Mr. Stone has done an amazing job in training his team as well. So um, we had a good run if we lose, but of course the goal is to win. Uh, that being said, before we jump right into the battle, uh, check out uh, all the other coaches. Their links are going to be in the description below, including Stone Family 64's. Uh, all of their links are going to be uh, down below, like I said. Pick up uh, Miami Dragon Knight's merch, promo code GGAMING. Uh, that link is also in the description. Now, we're going to jump right into the picks that he drafted into the league. And then we're going to jump right into the predictions. And we're going to hop right into a call with Mr. Stone and see what's what. Uh, so, for his draft picks, he drafted Reuniclus, Dialga, Conkelder, Volcarona, Aegislash, Lapras, Mamoswine, Galarian Rapidash, and Vileplume. Alright, so, pretty strong team. Um, who I believe he's going to uh, bring out. I believe he is going to bring the Reuniclus. Uh, the Lapras and the Mamoswine. I believe that those are strong picks that he's going to bring out. Um, I can also see the Dialga coming out. If he doesn't bring the Dialga, great. Um, but if he does, I'm expecting it. Um, so that's what, four Pokemon right there. So the Dialga. Um, I can see the Volcarona coming out. So that's five. Um, and the Vileplume makes six. Um, ooh, excuse me. I'm a little nervous. Um, if he does not bring the Dialga, then I can see Conkelder coming. Or if he does bring Dialga and he brings Conkelder, then uh, then uh, Volcarona maybe stays at home. I do not see Galarian Rapidash coming in at all. Um, if it does, great. It's going to die if it comes in. If it doesn't come in, it's, it's okay too. So let's go ahead and jump right into a call with Stone Family. Let's see what we uh, let's see what he has to say. And uh, ooh, let me put this in performance mode before this thing crashes. All right, guys. So we just hopped off a call with Stone Family 64. Uh, let's see how this goes. Um, yeah, man. Let's see how this goes. Hopefully, may the best person win. Like I said, uh, Stone Family has come a long way uh, from the very beginnings of the Elite Battle League. Um, I'm very proud of how he's been performing. Awesome, awesome, awesome. An opposing trainer has been found. It's time for battle. Let's switch to the battle scene. Communicating. All right. So let's see who decides the battles. It's going to be me because it's me. I'm just kidding. All right. Battle rules. Normal rules. Are we okay? Yes, we are. All right, we're gonna choose this team because this is the one that's had the most success. Let's see who he brought. Let's see if we call this team at least part of it. I'm hoping we did. Vileplume, Lapras, Dialga. Yep, I knew it. Conkelder and Mamoswine. Okay, I call this team. Um, all right, safest thing to switch into. Out of all of these, I'm more worried about that Vileplume and Lapras, to be honest with you. Safest thing to switch into would be the Swampert, because we have Brick Break and Earthquake and uh, Darkest Lariat on here, so Reuniclus is not going to want to take that. Uh, Dialga is not going not gonna to want to take a Brick Break or an EQ. Um, neither is Mamo. Um, so we'll start off with this guy, then we'll go here. Brute will come in. Brute Root will come in with some status. Kamikaze. 
I am not going to rush this. I am going to take my sweet time. Here we go. Here we go. Peaches. Okay. I can live with that. Is this a freeze dry set? Oh no, it's not. This is not the freeze dry set. I remember Peaches. Unless he changed the nickname to throw me off. Which, in that case, good on you, dude. Okay, great. Took that. EQ. Eat it. Eat it. Yes. Way to live. Brick break again. You're gonna switch out, aren't you? No, okay. Well, that takes care of one Pokemon. Who's coming in? Cell. You have energy ball, I can see it. Let's go for it. I knew I should have G-Max or Dynamax. I figured. All right. Kamikaze, you're up the bat. It's all good in the hood. We're going to go ahead and use this. Okay, substitute faded. This shuckle was designed to stall out that trick room.
Let's see if this will work. Of course you withdrew. Alright, so. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. He's gonna swap him out here, I think. He's gonna swap him out for the Dialga. That's what I would do. Yep, I knew it. Good on you, Matt. There we go. Now, question is, are we faster? Do we risk it for the biscuit? Risk the earth power? Yes, sir! If we get rid of his two trick rumors, we're good. Dialga's down. Dialga's down. Main threat number one is down. We just gotta worry about Cell. And Cell's asleep. Roid Rage. I wonder. Grazzi. We're going to go with another Sludge Bomb. Kill, kill, kill. Kill, kill, kill. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, so. Cover. Ah, oh, crap. No, not yet.
Alright, two trick rumors down. Two trick rumors down. We got this. Alright, Rayquaza, this is where you die. And that's cool. That is cool. Puts it back up. Alright, Flower. It's you. Oh, Jesus. Okay. All right. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness gracious. We won that. Oh my god, we won that. Matt, um, Stone fam, Jesus, you, uh, I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> oh my god, I'm shaking. You did an amazing job. You did an amazing job. Um, wow. Wow. I just, I just, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I honestly thought that I would not win that, and I had made my peace with it. But, um, jeez. Matt, you're such an incredible trainer, dude. Incredible battle. Incredible battle. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, your Miami Dragonites have just won the Season 1 Elite Battle League Championship. Like the design you see on screen? Then go show your support by clicking on the link below to purchase merch for your champion, Miami Dragonite. All right, everybody. Uh, so we just hopped off a call with Stone Family 64. Again, the head coach of the Atlanta Braviaries. Um, <clears throat> listen, this battle was something else. I was shaking throughout the entire time. Again, apologies in advance if I was quiet and I wasn't interacting much. Laser focused right into the game, right into the battle. Um, we won. Um, I am happy for the victory. I'll take it. But I will say... Uh, Stone Family 64 has done an amazing job in, in in training his Pokemon. He is an incredible battler. He should not be taken lightly at all. He is no slouch when it comes to battles. 
and this season alone proves that. He has come such a long way and he's even mastered his team and managed to take down uh, the best of the best uh, during the prelims. So again, Stone Family 64 his links are in the description. But that's it for me today, guys. If you haven't already, hit that thumbs up, make it turn blue, subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon, Breath of the Wild, and Assassin's Creed content. We're also on Twitch. That link is in the description below. And again, don't forget to check out your Miami Dragonites merch. Uh, promo code GGAMING for 20% off. That link is also in the description. Uh, that being said, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, talk to you guys later. Peace.